We're talking about this fun stuff called nose putty. And uh, before we get to that. Does anybody mind if I feel that chair? You do. You want to sit right there? Yeah. All right. Adele, number one, read the number one step. Number one, coat skin with spirit gum, let it dry, and tap until it becomes tacky. Yeah, nobody will tell you this. It's not on the directions here, but it's this little bottle, and it's got a brush in it. And this is how you properly use nose putty. Any place you're going to put that on there, somebody reach over and shut that door for me. Thanks. Said the leakage of the talking. Okay, so... You put nose, spirit gum, wherever you're going to put nose putty. And to properly use nose put, uh, spirit gum. And there's a lot of uses for this, and we'll get to this. So don't throw that piece of paper away. You're going to use it in two weeks. Uh, you take your finger and start tacking until... Let's see if you can hear it. Or see it. Can you see it tacking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really gummy, okay? And that's the key to this. All spirit gum. Like Marianne said, we use this one time. One time only because after that we made an appliance. An appliance is something that we use uh, casting faces. We teach it in makeup two and uh, makeup three. And we uh, cast people's faces and then uh, actually have a... Now, your finger is sticky, so I'm going to use some of this spirit gum remover on a paper towel to unstick myself. Uh, an appliance is anything you're going to add to your face. So this technically is an appliance, but we haven't added anything yet. Okay, so once again, back to this. The same old stuff. You dig some out of with a clean stick. Was that number two? Julie? Small amount of cotton to the surface. Pull ah. Thank you. A cotton ball. Okay, small amount. Okay. That's too much. Okay. You want the fibers only. I don't know if you can see the fibers. Can you? Can you see just a, like yeah, a hair? Yeah. yeah. That's too much. That's too much, but that that's pretty much good. Okay, so you take, that's number two. What's next on the uh, agenda? Roll nose putty into a ball and press on to tap. Right, back to the stick and the thing. You'll never be able to do it unless you wind this into your hand a whole lot. Get it really nice and warm. This is kind of fun to do. If you look on your uh, page, it says three types of nose putty. He was talking about the derma wax and mortician's wax, which is a lot softer. This is pretty soft, I think, and sticky, but it is uh, mortician's wax is a lot. Warming softer. it up, getting it malleable. And then I'm gonna take a little ball, maybe about three quarters of this, and I'm gonna roll the ball, and then see if we can stick. Okay. All right, now, how do you build up? You take a little bit of wax, and you just start attaching it in small pieces, okay? So that you make that transition so there's not a, a ball on the end of the nose, but what it would look like. Okay, so I've already had one of the first errors that has crept in. Uh, what's the next one on the list there? Uh, shape nose putty with your fingers and sculpting tools until desired shape is achieved. Right. Read me the next one because I've already gotten there. Use quick cleanse. Aha! Quick cleanse! What a trick! What a trick. I love that trick. Even though there's none in my kit. Huh. Are you quick cleanse? Yeah. Okay. Marianne's going to find it. Okay, so you're putting this on with little bits, but you're sticking to it. See? So eventually, you're going to get all this on your face. Mm. 
just about the time you're really happy and think it's good. Oh, that's really on there, good. I'm impressed. So what does a spirit gum do and the cotton? So now I'm sticky and it's sticking to me. So what I'm gonna do is use a little oil. This is Quick Cleanse, which is basically mineral oil. Not too much, you don't want it to be runny. But it just gives you a little bit of, it'll, it'll let you release from the nose putty itself. So that when I pick off bits, I can put them on where I want them. And it'll stay. This is really fun. <laughs> and this is when you can dent your nose like an Owen Wilson. You can dent, you can make different shapes. Let's talk about noses for a second. Do not cover your nostrils, okay, people? I know it sounds funny to say, but every makeup too, somebody wants to cover their nostril or their mouth, and I say, nope. It's just right. a, it's a... They need to be able to breathe. There's, a, there's an other, another uh, error that will have crept in. A quick cleanse spill. Everybody see that? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, and no. it's nice and oily, so what you want to do is get it up as soon as possible. It happens. Don't worry about it. But yeah, it happens to everybody. So just before you drop the F-bomb, just clean it up, okay? And it is fun to do. Okay. Now, back to the quick cleanse. I don't know what happened to my putty. There it is. Yes, it will happen. Clean it up. Okay. And... Now they have the basic shape. What's next on the list after you quick cleanse spilled it? <laughs> powder or remove powder to remove grease from oil. Grease will not dry. Oh, okay. Let's back up a little bit. You can see that I put on all these pieces. See how they're uneven. Back to uh, the tools and uh, yes, bring um, orange sticks. You can use these kind of popsicle <laughs> sticks that we have. Any sculpting tools that you have, you can use. But one of the best tools that you have, you'll find is the old digits. So now you're going to take your time here, but you're going to smooth it out with just a little bit of, of rubbing. And you can almost make that, that edge go away. It's really kind of, see how smooth it's getting? Like glass, that's what you want. You want that uh, really smooth surface. You want to hide any edges too along the side of the nose. That's the thing about a nose. You can buy, you know, appliances or prosthetics. You can make them, but you've got to get that edge really thin and nice so it just fades right into your own face. Skin. Because that's where people will look and they'll see, oh, I see that edge, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's ways to hide that, in, especially in stage makeup. You can hide it with a shadow. So, um, but get it as smooth as possible. Now, as you know, or maybe you don't know, nose putty doesn't dry. It's always... It's a wax. It's always malleable. So that's the one problem with it. It's just it's always... You know, you can... If you go up against it, you're doing a love scene and you're kissing somebody and your nose gets smashed and you come back out and you're kissing somebody, your nose is all smashed up. Not too good. It's like the old I Love Lucy episode where the nose Yeah, but that's it. Yeah. Right, when it caught a fire. And yeah. I think there was a Peter Sellers movie where, you know, he was had a big nose on it got all smushed up and it was melting and you know how fun yeah like i said so, this is good for ear tips you know like vulcans and vampires yeah and that looks good what stuff i've had and steve's gonna show you how to you know make it more secure uh well once you're finished yeah like i said this is the time to really take your time and it didn't happen to me and i'm sorry it didn't but You'll get to the certain point where you're like 99% done. You're going like this, finishing it up, and the whole thing will come off in your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't panic. Okay? Just calm down. When you get to a certain point like this, I'm just going to sculpt these nostrils right off. Yes. Make sure you do nostrils now that you're talking about that. A lot of people will do a whole nose and then put the nose putty right over their nostrils and not bring out a nostril. If you're doing a human nose, you need nostrils. And that's not just this part, it's that the edge of your nose nostril. So make sure you sculpt that in. Another thing I'm going to try to do wrong. Yeah, here we go. 
You don't want the nose putty to go onto this plane of your oh, face. Right. You want to stay up here on this so that you can actually hide the edge. And I, I, I'll help you by coming around and going, hey, let's cut it back to about there right. and cut all this off because that part doesn't move as well as the rest of you, okay? We'll just kind of take that off. Yeah, unless you're doing, you know, a big nose like we were talking about, um, you know, the uh, who noses, which would go down to that part of your nose. Um, you really shouldn't have anything there. And when you're applying your spirit gum and um, cotton, make sure you know where your edges are, because if you put it, again, too far out, like under that plane of your face, you know, where Steve was just you know, getting some away, that'll stay there, and you can't, and then you put your makeup over top of it, it's going to look weird, you know what I mean? So just make sure you stay within uh, the footprint of your nose. And The know, hardest part on this assignment is how to pick a nose. That didn't sound quite <laughs> right, but you know what I've been talking about. Which one are you going to do? Yeah. That's the hardest part, because the rest of it's uh, easy. Right. Yeah, nose putty's fun. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Now, with this nose putty, you need to do a full makeup, okay? You're not just doing a nose. You're going to do the foundation, your highlights, your shadows. So if you want to do a character, like I said, if you want to do an old witch, and it's an old, you know, it's a witch nose with an old witch looking, like Meryl Streep from End of the Woods or whatever. I don't know if she has a big nose in that, but you know what I'm saying. You could do a character like that if you want, or you're going to do a troll, and you're going to do a troll nose. Yes, you can do that. I know we are going to do Fantasy Day, but if you want to add, you know, some people have done witches, and they did green witches. And, okay. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Now, what's the next one you were starting to read? Powder to remove grease from oil. Right. The, mat, the nose buddy doesn't dry. Let me give this a final. Goings over. Yeah, this is going to take you the longest oil. sculpting part of it. I have a question about the spirit gum. How long does that last before the, the nose starts to fall off? Oh. Um, oh, she's, she's been in well, it four or five hours before. Yeah, I mean, I mean it should it'll stay. stay. I mean, I, the spirit gum and the cotton helps hold that nose putty onto your face. Um, so, I mean, I, if you sweat a lot, it could... You know. So the cotton is to, what is the purpose of the See, cotton? The to cotton is to, to like the grab body. the nose putty onto your face. You can put nose putty right on your skin, but it doesn't really stay on as long. Okay, so um, a little powder. You know what I mean? It could tend to come off a lot easier. Okay. So kind yeah. of, like a, it sort of a, grabs it a little bit. Exactly, yeah. That's the idea of the cotton. And if you, if you don't have cotton, you could still do nose Sorry, putty to try and keep it on you know, a little bit. Can you stop talking, please? Pay attention. Thank you. Yeah. This is uh, now a little powder, a little brush off. Don't have to be, you know, like over powdering it. You just want to take off that extra. Uh, what's next on the list? Apply, oh, sorry. Seal nose with sealer or flexible. Collodion. Collodion. I know you haven't had that word before. That's okay. Yes. I had a bin a here, word. and I had the collodion here. It is. Yes, I got Q-tips out for you. All right, this is the collodion, and we have it. It's called. There's two kinds. There's one is a scar collodion, one is a sealer collodion. You want the sealer only, okay? And to do that, now what is a collodion exactly? It's a, like a liquid plastic, or think of it like an old, um, like a f fingernail polish, the clear on the top yeah. that would starts as a liquid okay. and how you use this is you take some of these q-tips and you take your bottle and you ready your q-tips by lining them up and then you take your cap off and you just paint really quickly okay that's one additional nail polish hey, does yeah. it it's just a liquid plastic. What this does is it seals the nose putty so that it's easier to put the Three. makeup on. If you put makeup right in the nose putty, it's so soft that you can kind of dig into it. Have you done this before? You're, you're like, yeah, I've done this. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can seal it with a lot of different stuff. You can seal it with liquid latex, which you have in your kit. But I found that it gets um, a lot of lines in it, and also it'll start to peel up. I don't know if you guys have used that before, but 
if you, if you paint it on and you're trying to get that really thin edge, the latex kind of builds up an edge, you know what I mean? And then you start to put the makeup on, it can roll up on you. So this is really nice. I mean, it, you'll get a nice smooth finish. You won't see the edge of it. So um, you need to do like three to four coats. And you might think that you've done enough, but it's hard to see where <laughs> you've actually put it. So do as many as possible. Steve's using multiple Q-tips just to be... Never uh, double dipping. Right, because we have to share this collodion. We have like maybe five or six bottles of it, so everybody just has to share it. Um, and that way it'll keep it clean. So it's kind of like if you think about ice cream and you get that topping that freezes on it, that's what you're doing to the nose putty. It's got a little shell. shell. Yeah, like a little shell. shell. It's not going to be super okay. and hard. And then as but fast as like possible, put the cap on, and then you're ready for the next person. Wow, that smell good. I Woo! love it. All right. Yeah. A We're note on this. It now. smells good. <laughs> it does not make you high or sick. It's not that kind of thing, okay? So stop coughing over there. Um, okay, so now you know how to put po uh, makeup over top of this. I highly recommend you do not put makeup... Uh, you do not use the makeup right out of your bin because it will not go over this. What the heck is my base? I don't know. Okay, the old natural fair. Um, the best way you can do it is to put some in your hand again and use a brush. Brush in the hand. And then paint. But you will see, I'm going to do half of this so you can see that it'll actually get, make the edge go away. Look, you can't even see the edge now because it's so heavy. But I'm putting it on really, really thick. I don't know if you can tell that on the Mondo pad, can you? Yeah. Yeah. But see how thick I'm putting it on? Like, look at that. You can't even see the edge, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. You want to obliterate the whole, and just you're just coloring it. Yeah, this is an important step. Uh, because it's now that you put that clothing on there, it's like plastic that you're painting on. So you really do have to lay the, the foundation on heavier. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's really kind of like sculpting in a way that you're... you're it is sculpting. It's, it's clay. Yeah. It's like doing... Clay. Yeah, it like, is. You take little pieces at a time. Uh -huh. and yeah, the build-up method. It's the same exactly. kind of... Yep. And just take your time. And you really need to press it onto your nose to make it stay on there, you know? <coughs> Then okay. Better for glaze yeah, than just paint. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Steve's not gonna do his whole face because you guys know how to apply know how to foundation. Apply but foundation. You do need to put a shadow and some highlights on the nose. That's something people forget to do because you've done this great sculpting. Mm -hmm. You need to bring it out, just like you normally bring out your nose when you're doing old age or anything. You still need to, and he'll show you. He'll do a little shadow on the side to bring out. Yes. If you wanted to add like a mole or something on your oh, nose, sure. like in what stage would you do that? Oh no, you get the whole sculpt done first, then seal it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Remember, yeah. sculpt first, then seal, right. then add makeup on the outside. So I get the shape of it, then I like do a little ball, of, you know, this nose putty and put it on there and right. just really press it into there. You might have to like press the sides of the ball down, you uh -huh. know what I mean, as opposed mm -hmm. to sticking a little ball on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then seal, seal the whole thing. Just squeeze your nose. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't squeeze your nose at this point. But I am okay. going to show you once I get this next part on. You can't blow your nose in at this point. I'm sorry. You can blow your nose, yes. You can breathe right through it. Look, my nostrils are not at all in right. inhibited. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of my shadow color out. Shadow color, remember? Okay. This is the same stuff. Right, so pretend you've done all your foundation all over. But I would start at your nose and make sure it, now nose putty you can use for a lot of different things you can use for you know scars and wounds and all kinds of stuff so the protocol usually is uh any kind of prosthetic i consider this kind of a prosthetic you're building it up on your face but you put that on first and then you apply your makeup i've had people put on their whole foundation that's why i'm saying it and then they think they're going to go put their nose putty on well nose putty is not going to stick to a wet foundation on your face. You see what I'm saying? So you always start with prosthetics first, then do your application. Do you do your moisturizer before your nose putty? Uh, yeah, you can. I don't know. Do you moisturize your nose? Oh, well, in the winter it gets 
trying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're going to put spirit gum on top of that, so it'll probably kind yeah. of obliterate, like, any greasiness. But you're right. I mean, any kind of oil is going to act like a mold release and mm -hmm. will keep, you know, anything from sticking to your face. So if it's super oily, I mean, I don't know if you want to. It, it's up to you to decide. I'm finding this nose kind of disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a shoe. It's a shoe. Oh, maybe that's why. But yeah. Clown shoe. Show, but now a shoe you can see face. better now that he's putting the shadows on there. And mm -hmm. I would do just a little bit of, I mean, you don't have to do it to me, but for you guys, highlight. Yeah, a lot of people put too much highlight on their noses anyway. And so is it on there is the next question. Remember yeah. that. I think it's on there. Yeah, and you can you look know. your nose around. Look at that. <laughs> and the first thing everybody will do next week is come to me and say, oh, can you please take my picture? No, no, we'll say, you can move your face, okay? <laughs> you can move it, and it will not crack off. See? Okay? All right. Now that's getting into it. The next question is how to get out of this. Right. So you would powder, okay? Yeah, same old powdering job and all the other stuff number that we've 10. done. Helen, what's number 10? Got 10. I feel like it's about to, like, thread it off. Now. You don't want to saw it back and forth because that's going to go right on along your skin, okay? Oh, that's all so, just take your time, and then somebody will say, is it reusable? No. I've had people try and save the nose, and they have, but it's hard to reapply. Like Nothing. <laughs> cheese slicer, you know? Yeah, hey, here we go. Try it again. The cheese is yeah. Here we go. Now it's coming out. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Peel your face right off. <laughs> it is the fastest way to get it off. I know it seems really weird, but Trying to pick that off of your face without that. You can use also um, dental Look, floss. Look, I got two on there. That's a good way nice. to get it off. Two fish on the line. Yeah. <laughs> so we should bring in like dental floss. I have thread. Yeah, but bring in dental floss if you want to. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Now you the wax is kind of doing better. Yeah. You're left with what is on the in on the very bottom layer. Anybody? From step one? Spirit gum. Right. So what do we use to take our spirit gum off with? Thank you. Very good spirit gum remover. A plus for the students today. That's so funny when I have these students in they'll I uh, change my profile picture to... Uh, you know, I wrote, I just walked my dog, you know, Saturday when it was snowing, and I had this picture of me with all this snow on me, you know, like in, you know, from walking the dog. And I have past students that write in, oh, that, that looks really old. I'm like, it's my makeup, okay, guys? Did you forget who I am? So, you know how to get out of this. You know how to get into it. Any questions on those, putty? No? Okay. Okay. Well, the rest will come off with a makeup wipe and some nose spirit gum remover. Right. So don't forget, like I said, do a full makeup, powder it, all that Should we get stuff. cotton balls? Since oh, we have cotton we balls. We have cotton balls. You guys have...